videos. Now in this video, I'll be covering the example of Wi-Fi scan from files, examples, into ESP8266 Wi-Fi, mm, yes, and into Wi-Fi scan. So watching this whole video, you will come to know how to scan all the available Wi-Fi networks using ESP8266, how to check their uh, RSSI, which is the the received signal strength indicator of uh, every network then uh, how to find how to find that uh, whether the network is encrypted or open then uh, how to disconnect uh, ESP8266 from already connected Wi-Fi then you'll also come to know how to change the modes of uh, ESP8266 ESP8266 basically comes in three modes station access point and mode mode so how to change the mode so this is all the things you'll come to know by watching this full video so let's get started So basically this video can be regarded as a basic video for ESP8266 because in this video you will come to know how to scan the available network. In the previous videos or in the previous series we have seen how to connect to one uh, host uh, by entering the name and password but at that time we were, we were not knowing that uh, which are the networks available within the range of ESP8266. So in this example you will come to know how to scan the networks, to scan the available networks within the range of ESP8266 and uh, whether they are encrypted or open so this all things you will come to know so the output of this example will be same as that we observe in a laptop and in a smartphone whenever we turn on the uh, wi-fi in the laptop or in a mobile phone we come to know the all the available networks that receives their signal strength and uh, whether they are open or secured so this work in esp8266 is done by this code so let's understand this code and upload and see what happens so first of all the necessary declaration of ESP8266 Wi-Fi dot edge uh, we need only this single library in this basic example after that the default board rate of m for ESP12 e board and uh, here is Wi-Fi dot mode now here we need to set the mode of ESP8266 Wi-Fi ESP8266 Wi-Fi comes uh, with the three mode first is the station mode another is uh, access point mode and the third is station and access point or we can say both mode so uh, in this example now what is the difference between station and access point so this is uh, let it make it much simpler station mode can be regarded as a client mode in which uh, ESP8266 seeks to connect to a host or a server or a access point to a router so basically this is a client and it needs to connect to any another uh, what you can say router or access point to get access to internet access point mode can be regarded as a hotspot of our phone in which uh, uh, this particular ESP8266 ESP will act as a host so every so other clients will try to connect to this ESP8266 in station and access point or both mode uh, this ESP acts uh, uh, in both the way as access point as well as at the station mode so we will see if uh, the both mode is used any, in any one of the example but right now we are focusing on only station mode because we are trying to connect to another host or other routers so we need to scan them so we will be converting or we will be turning our ESP8266 into the station mode after that it shows Wi-Fi dot disconnect okay so Wi-Fi dot disconnect now this function is used to disconnect ESP8266 from other host if it is already connected so it this line ensures that ESP8266 is not at all connected with any of the host at present so after that delay of 100 millisecond and uh, it shows that setup done so this is about the setup now moving on towards the loop which shows first of all scan start now here the function is used called Wi-Fi dot scan networks. Now this function will scan all the available networks and will give in response an integer value of available networks. So here it is written as integer n is equal to Wi-Fi dot scan networks. This will return the number of networks available within the range of ESP266. So after that it will it is written as scan done and if n is equal to is equal to zero if uh, the response we got of uh, Wi-Fi dot scan networks is zero that means that there is no network available within the range of ESP8266 so it will, it will print that no networks found or no network available else if n is non-zero or is greater than zero obviously it won't be less than zero if, if n is greater than zero then it will print the number of networks available which is n after that uh, it will print as networks found okay so after that uh, the, uh, this will <clears throat> this will print the number of networks found 
uh, one by one so it is a for loop running running from uh, i is equal to zero to i uh, less than n so up till the number of networks found from zero to the number of networks found during the scanning so it will print all the available networks so the format here it is serial dot print i plus one because it is starting from zero so but uh, <coughs> as it is starting from zero but we need to print the series from number one so it is just written as plus one after that it will print wifi dot ssid into bracket i earlier we have seen that whenever we connect uh, to a particular host by wifi dot connect uh, ssid comma password and after that if we print wifi dot ssid it will be printing the ssid name of already connected host but at this moment we are not at all connected with any of the host and if we want to print the ssid name of all the host available this is the format wifi dot ssid into the bracket the serial number of the scanned networks so uh, in the for loop so it is taking the parameter i which is the variable running in the loop so first of all it will be printing that printing as wifi dot ssid zero the zeroth network which is found during scanning its ssid name will be printed by this function and the same wifi dot rssi into bracket i uh, so first during the execution of first loop it will be wifi dot rssi into bracket 0 it will be printing the rssi rssi stands for the received signal strength indicator or indication so the strength of the zeroth network found during scanning is printed by this function and after that it is written as wifi dot encryption type into bracket i now this is written in a format of uh, I don't know the name of this format but what this mean I will be explaining that it will be a if condition after that uh, there is a question mark and uh, true colon false F -A -L -C. okay so this is the format in which uh, it is written inside the what you can say serial print line function so uh, first of all there is a if condition which is which states that while uh, sorry Wi-Fi dot encryption type of I that can be 0 1 2 3 any network is equal to equal to encryption type none now this function is what what this uh, encryption type none reveals that if encryption type of any network 0 1 2 any of the end network is equal to none none encryption means if it is open network then this condition will be satisfied yes so if if condition is satisfied then it will return this value and if if condition is not satisfied it will return this value so this is the format in which the it is written inside the serial print line so if it is non encrypted or the open network it will be printing a blank uh, line or a blank character and if it is uh, encrypted one so this condition will be uh, regarded as false and will be printing a star after the uh, all Wi-Fi SSID name RSSI and after that it will be printing a star which indicates that this particular network is encrypted uh, you will be uh, what you can say this will be much clear when you will observe uh, the response in the serial monitor so let's wait for some seconds because uh, we are now done with the code now we will be uploading so okay so delay 10 milliseconds serial print line new line and 5 seconds so after every 5 seconds it will be printing the scan result into serial monitor so let's just upload it and uh, see the response uh, by the time I will just cross check if all the hotspots are on. No, this hotspot is not on. Okay, so let's upload the see uh, open the serial monitor. So it's a uh, it shows setup done scan started and it found five networks. As you can see that the, this is a network name. After that, it is showing that RSSI or we can say the strength of that network, or the strength of the signal available from this particular network. And here the star indicates that this particular network is encrypted. This is not an open network. So received signal strand is displayed in the with a negative sign so the most so least negative will be the strongest signal so as you can see 
uh, the least negative number in all this four networks or four five so it is uh, fluctuating there some there will be some host in my neighbor whose strength is uh, very low and uh, the esp is uh, capturing that uh, network's strength or network signal also so it is a uh, kind of fluctuating so uh, in my room there are only three devices one is this phone nearer to esp266 one is uh, here and another is on the uh, tripod stand recording this video so we'll observing that three networks and their strength so first of all i will just uh, stop this okay so one of the phone is moto g3 which is on my right hand side which shows its signal strength is minus 42 dbm so it is encrypted yes because it is shown by the star after that this is sms which shows minus 51 which is a little bit far away from the sp266 right on the tripod and uh, i bell i bell bottom it is uh, uh, the signal is very less from my minus 92 it uh, it may be my uh, neighbor's router i don't know but this is also encrypted so i can't use it and the last one is this uh, random name is given and the signal strength is minus 13 which is the strongest of all the four and this is my this phone which is kept very near to this ESP266 module so the received signal strength is maximum in this case and as you can see that this is an open network there is no star sign is uh, printed after this received signal strength of this network so this is an open network you can connect by just entering the second name of this network so okay so this is how you can scan all the networks come to know whether it is whether they are encrypted or not what is the signal strength which is the strongest uh, network available so likewise you can uh, scan all the parameters and come to know the networks are available in the surrounding so i hope you got basic idea of how to use this uh, code or how this code uh, can be useful while uh, getting started with esp266 okay so this is it about this video subscribe my channel for upcoming videos of this series till then explore and share with me thank you sms